Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to create a simple item shop. We will create a game scene, where our girl character earns some coins and then she will be able to spend her money for this cool rifle. And continue her dangerous journey with the gun. First we need to create two scenes, shop scene and game scene. I have them already created. As we are going to switch between these scenes, they must be added to the build. Go to the build settings and drag and drop them to the scenes in build window. I have done it already. Let's begin from the shop scene. Add a background image, add a character, so our shop scene will not look so empty. Then create new UI text object for shop sign. Edit it. Then add new UI text for money amount sign. Edit it too. Add new UI image for the rifle. Drag and drop rifle sprite to source image slot. Check preserve aspect. Change its width and position it to the left center holding Alt plus Shift keys. Next UI object will be rifle price text. Edit it and place it under the rifle. Next UI object is buy button that allows us to buy this beautiful gun. Edit it as you wish. Next UI button is a button that loads game scene. I call it exit button, meaning exit the shop. Next UI button is reset button that will reset our player preferences variables. Next create new empty game object and call it shop control. Here is a script that will be attached to it. Here we use Unity Engine UI and scene management libraries. Then some variables are needed. They are money amount, is rifle sold, money amount text, rifle price text and buy button. In start method we get money amount value from player preferences, which stores our data when we switching between the scenes. In update method we show money amount. And then get is rifle sold value. Next we check if we have enough money to buy a gun and if a gun isn't sold yet. And depending on the result, buy button is interactable or not. 
and by rifle method we decrease money amount by rifle price, set is rifle sold to 1, then put text sold instead of rifle price and disable buy button. In exit shop method we save our money amount to player preferences money amount variable and load game scene. Reset player preferences method restores initial states. Add this script to shop control game object. Select shop control and drag and drop corresponding game objects to its script slots. Money amount, rifle price and buy button. Select buy button, add new on click function, select shop control and choose buy rifle method. Then select exit button. Add new onclick function, select shop control and choose exit shop method. Then select reset button, add onclick function, select shop control and choose reset player preferences method. Save shop scene. Then double click on game scene and let's fill it with the game objects. Add a background and then add a girl. Add a rigid body 2D and box collider components to her. Set her order in layer to 1. We're gonna move a girl with a script. Here it is. It is a simple one where we get input from arrow keys and set a velocity to rigid body. Add the script to girl game object. This girl will have a rifle someday. Add rifle to our scene. One of the way to scale a game object is to change sprite's pixel per units option. Change it and hit apply. If rifle is gone, then change its order in layer option. Make rifle be a child of a girl and put it to her hands. Beautiful. Ok. Let's add some coins. Add one. Change order in layer to one. Add a circle collider and check its trigger option. Duplicate this coin several times and spread these new coins. These coins need a script. Here it is. So if something collides with the coin, then money amount increases by 1 and coin is destroyed. Select all of the coins and add coin script to them. Create new UI text, which will show our money. Edit it. Then create new UI button, which will follow us to the shop. Edit it. Now create new empty game object and name it Game Control. Here is a script for game control. Here we have UI and scene management libraries, money text, money amount, is rifle sold variables and rifle game object. In start method we get money amount and is rifle sold values. Then we check if rifle is sold, then we enable it in girl's hands, otherwise we disable it. In update method we show our money amount and go to shop method saves our money as player preferences money amount variable and loads shop scene. Add the script to game control game object. Select game control and drag and drop money text and rifle to corresponding slots. Select go to shop button, 
a new on-click function, select game control and choose go to shop method. Save this scene and go to shop scene. Hit play and see how it works. So now no money in our codes and girl can't buy a thing. Let's go to game and get some coins. Notice that girl doesn't have a gun in her hands. Ok, she is rich now. Let's go to shop. Now we can buy a gun. Done. Go to game again. Alright, now we have a gun. We can reset everything by pressing reset button. Ok, I really hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you for watching, see you next time.